You know, we Westerners look around for spiritual techniques a lot. Um, but there's one very outstanding technique that's been around for a long time. And um, an example of it is in the old, old book, um, The Way of the Pilgrim, about a Russian peasant, really, who walks through the Ukraine, Russia, and Siberia on this spiritual pilgrimage, really. And along the way, he speaks to a teacher who recommends to him that he repeats um, the Jesus prayer unceasingly, which is, the Jesus prayer is, uh, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. So he repeats this. And indeed, uh, Paul in the, in the Bible talks about the power of prayer, praying unceasingly. Anyway, this gentleman's walking um, and, and repeating this prayer, and the book is basically a story of his own spiritual development and the increased effect that his growing light and love have on the people he encounters. Now, this is a very good picture of the spiritual journey. So, in the East, they, you know, they really talk about mantras, that you, if you say a mantra pretty much unceasingly, in the East they say, you know, really, if you say it every single second for three years, you can achieve enlightenment. It's just a challenge maybe to do that, but, you know, if your will, will is hooked up to the Creator, there's, there's no ceiling. Um, certainly, in my experience, it was this instinctive mantra of self-compassion that just rose up from my heart, from um, former lives, I feel, as a Buddhist. So it was in there, and I'd done it, and um, I was in trouble, and it just surfaced into my heart. So, you see, we're looking around for so many techniques, but it's really, really simple. It's like praying unceasingly, speaking the mantra, speaking a mantra. There's lots of choices. You can get a mantra from um, any spiritual teacher at the high quality, a high quality teacher, that would be the best. Um, Amma, the hugging saint, says actually Amma, meaning mother of the universe, mother God, is, you know, a, a best mantra. Um, certainly people use Ram too um, as kind of a, a male aspect of God and one of the, you know, Ram in the East they believe Ram was a, a figure like Christ and Krishna. So, you know, anything that keeps your mind focused on what is beyond this earth plane, on what has created the earth plane and created you will help tap into your heart. It will, you will begin, if you keep it going, um, it will begin, you will begin to tap into the love power within your heart because, I mean, our soul, our, our body is made out of energy. So there's a level that our, our body is made out of unconditional love because that's what this energy is but actually our access to our soul is done through the heart it's like a, a mother loving a child you know it's that love and our souls love us like that and we can return the love and actually it is when we turn and love the creator we open up and get filled with that energy. So, you know, mantras, <laughs> five million times, <laughs> see what happens. You say mantra five million times, yeah. You know, people all throughout history have become God-realized or self-realized. It's possible to do it. We're in a time of great distraction and great distrust, but in another way of looking at things, things are so dark that when somebody turns towards the Creator, it's like the Creator is so pleased that He pours love into us. That's my experience. 
just any small effort gets rewarded. Okay, okay, I hope this helps. Bless your hearts.